Chapter 3 Synthetic Fibers and Plastics We know that the clothes which we wear are made of fabrics. Fabrics are made from fibers. A fiber is a thread-like material that is strong and flexible enough to be converted into fabrics and several household items like ropes and nets. Types of fibers. There are two kinds of fibers. Natural fibers, human-made or synthetic fibers. Natural fibers. We know that fibers can be obtained from both plants and animals. Cotton fiber obtained from cotton plant. Jute fiber obtained from jute plant. Linen fiber made from the stalks of flax plant are examples of plant fibers, whereas wool obtained from sheep and rabbits and silk obtained from cocoons of silkworms are examples of animal fibers. The natural fibers are not produced in large quantities which could satisfy the increasing demand of increasing human population. The efforts of scientists led to the discovery of human-made fibers or synthetic fibers. These fibers can also be spun, woven or knitted into fabrics. Synthetic fibers Fibers obtained through different chemical processes in the industries are known as human-made fibers or synthetic fibers. Rayon, nylon, terylene, etc. are some human-made or synthetic fibers. In this chapter, we will learn about synthetic fibers their characteristics and their uses. To understand the structure of fibers, let us understand the following examples. Observe carefully how a necklace of beads is made. You will find similar beads are joined together by a common thread to form a necklace. A large number of beads are joined together to form a necklace. So in this case, bead is a smaller unit. The joining together of a large number of beads with a thread forms a necklace. Take about 12 paper clips and join them together to make a long chain. A large number of paper clips are joined together to form a long chain. So in this case, paper clip is a smaller unit. The joining together of a large number of paper clips forms a long chain. Nature of fibers. When the structure of natural fibers was studied, it was found that it was a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a natural substance. Many such small units combine to form a large single unit called a polymer. Based on this knowledge, the first ever synthetic fiber, nylon, was prepared in the year 1931. Nylon is also a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance produced in the industries. A polymer is a very big molecule formed by the combination of a large number of small molecules called monomers joined end to end by a chemical bond. So cotton, wool, silk etc. are natural polymers. The word polymer comes from two Greek words, poly meaning many and mer meaning repeating units. So actually monomer is a kind of repeating unit which repeats itself many times to form a very big molecule called polymer. Polymerization is a process of joining together of a large number of small molecules, monomers, to form a very big molecule, polymer. Cotton, for example, is a polymer called cellulose. Cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units. Similarly, nylon is prepared by the 